Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Big Ugly Vapes YouTube channel. I am Clay. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys my first sub ohm coil build. Um, this is reading on the ohm meter at 0.59 ohms. And um, as you can see here, it's uh, kicking some pretty good vapor there. So let's, uh, let's take a hit off this and we will discuss the rest. Where'd the air hole go? There it goes. Alright. Hmm. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Choke me up. <coughs> Anyways. Enough of that. Um, so, how... I uh, thought I'd tell you guys real quick how I built it. What I did was I took 26 gauge Canthal and wrapped it around the, the uh, little tiny screwdriver that came with my Nimbus six times and um, and mounted it on here, ran the cotton through it and then under it and did that whole, that whole awesome thing, whatever, a lot of fun. Um, which leads me to my next topic. I purchased the 26 gauge Canthal this drip tip, a, a biocharger, and the flavor that I'm vaping right here from a shop down in Ogden called the Vapor Vault. Let's see if I can... There's my flavor of choice, orange cream, right there. And I had Monica add some peach to it, and it is delicious. On inhale, you get like a really sweet, fresh peach flavor. On the exhale, you get a little bit of orange with that cream mixed in. It's fantastic. So. What's going on? Didn't mean to blow it in your face, but okay. There we go. So anyways, uh, I don't know. I, I think I need to adjust where my button is setting or something. Because I'm not getting quite as accurate of fires. Yeah. Also, uh, I picked up the VTC4 battery I'm using in here from the Vapor Vault as well. Those guys are very helpful. Um, to answer any questions, and they know the answers. Um, my local vapor shop, a lot of times the answer you get is, I don't know. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. You're supposed to be the professional, okay? So, I don't know, just something that irritates me. Okay, um, I have a script today because I tend to ramble. So, um, next thing was, um, when I made the initial video of my, um, of my nemesis, um, I did. I showed you guys the wrong side of the box when I was trying to show you the manufacturer. I showed you this right here. That'll help you. Um, right there is the H Cigar stamp. They're the ones who made this this Nemesis mech, and I think and and the the Nimbus uh, RDA on top too. Um, and I think they did a good job. Um, I also with this, I um, I put the magnet kit in the switch, and that helps an awful lot. Um, it fires more accurately, and um, it's um, it sounds more like I think it should. The 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 spring had a crunch to it, and it seemed like the spring kind of threw things out of whack, and so it didn't always fire, or it would fire and then in the middle of an inhale, just quit for no apparent reason. So <clears throat> so with this the the magnet kit in there, it just it's working a lot better and I'm really really enjoying my time with the Nemesis the other thing is I did pre-order this Nemesis before they actually released it and this is uh, number 1009 and um, so I, I'm, my thoughts are kind of like so this must be number nine in the series um, the other um, and so yeah so I purchased it I received it anyways I purchased it from vape royalty and I'll put a link to them in the description. I'll put a link to uh, the Vapor Vault as well. You can call them up and place orders over phone, I believe. So I'll put links to both of them in the description um, below so you guys can go check them out and, and everything like that. Um, 
And uh, so yeah, and then the last thing I wanted to um, to tell you is that, um, well, I already said it actually, I'm really enjoying my first mech, and um, as a matter of fact, I've got a second one being built for me right now by Michael from Dark Cloud Vapors, so I'm really excited to get that, uh, as you can imagine, and, um, but I'm, like I said, I'm really enjoying, enjoying this. The only issue I have with this Nemesis, and I don't know if this is for all of these types of mechs, but the top cap here, I keep having to take um, the top cap off with the RDA to reposition the pin so it's firing properly. So I constantly have problems with with it firing, uh, not like, like just it, it loosens up and then it quits firing and so it's annoying. I don't know if it's a common thing, but it's a problem I'm having. Anyways, this micro coil, or this micro coil, this uh, sub ohm coil, I should sleep more, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm digging the vapor production I'm getting out of it. It is chucking, the flavor is awesome. You can taste everything. On my VTR, um, you know, the flavors are alright, but they're just, they're nowhere near compared to this. You can't compare it to this. Um, it's, it's a whole different a whole different ball game now so <clears throat> anyways that's all i have and as i say guys um you know leave me a like leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh keep it real vape on